Music forms the central theme of Amin Harun's career story, but his interests and abilities are anything but one-dimensional. Karishma met up with this musical powerhouse to find out how he keeps track of all the different beats in his life. Amin Harun was still a teenager when the DJ Bug first bit him, but he soon became bored with playing other people's music. His own creative drive took over, and by 14, he was happily deconstructing an eclectic variety of musical genres. He taught himself to play a small orchestra of instruments and acquired the formal training of a sound engineer, and is now the go-to producer for established acts and rising stars. Amin Haran's lifelong fascination with music has made him one of the most exciting musical talents to come out of South Africa. DJ, singer, songwriter, producer. When it comes to music, there's nothing this guy can't do. Hi, Amin. Hey, Kirishma. Come inside. Cool. So cool to finally meet you. Likewise. Please have a seat. <laughs> I mean, your love affair with music started from a young age. Where did it all begin? When I grew up, my mom was a stay-at-home mom. My mom was into all different kinds of music, and I got inspired by so many different artists growing up, and like I was always wondering, like, where, where does this music uh, like inside the radio come from as a kid? It, it pretty much started from that point. Amin is now the guy who puts the sounds in the radio and his peers in the music industry are drawn to his inventive mind and technical skill set, not to mention his passion for his craft. You've been lucky enough to work with some pretty big names in the industry. I worked with Jimmy Nevis, Lockenville, Sketchy Bongo, A1 Wolf, Carl Deutsch, quite a bit of people. You're a DJ, singer, songwriter, musician. Which one do you enjoy the most and why? I run a record label. With that, I have my own artists to, to take care of and the artists who are actually our clients, so that keeps me probably the most productive. How has your music evolved over the years? I think my music evolves over the months. <laughs> like, I'm always listening to new and different styles of music. I don't ever really like confining myself to a single genre. I just feel there's so much to be inspired by. There's no point in being just a one-dimensional artist. I'm completely fascinated with trying to make genres that don't work together work together and finding a middle ground. I feel like it's basically my road to eternal inspiration. It's just I'm always listening to different music, so I'm always evolving somehow. Amin has also established himself as an artist in his own right, using the alias of WIMP, which stands for What I'm Feeling. Whether he's performing or mixing, Amin exudes a sense of quiet energy, like a humming generator in a power station. You have quite a big following on social media. I would know I stalked you just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> How important is a good social media platform to an artist these days? I'm obsessed with my job and I feel like social media is a means for marketing. It's something that I feel is extremely important because it's basically your window to the world and showcasing what you do. When a brand opens your social media, they should be able to see that person is a painter or that person is an actress. It shows professionalism, it shows dedication. What have been some of your career highlights? I had about five or six tracks go national. Also AKA's album going platinum, Quester's album going platinum and also winning multiple awards this year for best album and also won a Golden Luri for best original music and sound design last year. Have you faced any challenges? Every single day. Any entrepreneur has challenges, a lot of unexpected things are uh, come into play, especially in a creative field. When uh, you deal with artists, you don't necessarily deal with professionalism, you deal with passion. You're known for being quite a stylish guy. What is your approach to style and fashion? Well, I think growing up with a sister who is pretty much like pioneer what she's doing with uh, fashion blogging um, and a mom who has literally been my whole life a low-key dressmaker. Um, Actually, I could give you long stories about that, but I could show you first and instead. I'd love that. Should we get going? Cool, let's do that. Cool. No matter whether you're talking music or fashion, Amin has an innate ability to take apparently disparate elements and mix and match them in innovative ways. What are your go-to items in your closet? Right now it's winter, so as far as go-to things happen, I like jerseys, but... Uh, mostly these kinds of things. I'm, I'm a nerd, so 
Star Wars, we have Young Flash. I love that I see so much color in your wardrobe. That's so unusual for a guy. I'm not eccentric, but I do like colors. <laughs> like, I'll wear a bright pink hoodie with a white t-shirt underneath it. As far as formal things go, I like my suits. Especially three-piece. Accessories are also extremely important. Basically, pocket chiefs, your watches, extremely important, of different colors. How do you balance having to be quite trendy and funky as a musician, but then also dealing with the very corporate business side of the industry? It's like vocabulary. The way I would speak with my artists is not the same way I would approach corporate clients. There's a sense of etiquette that has to come into play. They say that you should dress for the job you want and that's why you should dress better than your boss. Well, there you have it. I mean, Haran's star is certainly on the rise and he's not just easy on the ears, but also on the eyes.